Today I'll be showing you how to take our raw footage like this and turn it into this. We're going to use two Adobe products, Premiere Pro and After Effects. Open up Premiere Pro and add your footage onto the timeline. Then we'll adjust the speed of all our clips. Old films tend to appear to be in fast forward because of a difference in the frame rate when filmed and when projected. Next, you'll edit your clips to tell your story. Then we'll add an old ragtime song and film projector sound effect to our timeline. Now we'll export our creation as an MP4 video. And that's it for Premiere Pro. Now we'll open up After Effects and import our video. Create an adjustment layer. On this new layer, we'll first add a black and white effect. You can even add a sepia tint if you'd like. Now we'll add a noise and grain effect. First, change the viewing mode to final output. Then adjust the intensity setting how you like. I'll go with 3.8 here. And make sure to open the color settings and check the monochromatic box. That way the noise and grain will all be black and white. Then add a dust and scratches effect. Adjust the radius to 2. Now we'll adjust the brightness and contrast. Adjust each setting to your liking. I'm going for a faded film look, so I'll set the brightness to 44 and the contrast to minus 30. Now add a vignette effect. This can be found under Lumetri Color, which is under Color Correction. Open the vignette settings and adjust the amount to minus 3 and the midpoint to 40. And finally, we'll add my favorite a wiggle effect to the video. Select the video underneath the adjustment layer we've been working on. Open the transform settings. Press option and left click the stopwatch next to position. Additional options will open up beneath it. Click on the text over here and we're going to write our own expression. Type wiggle open parentheses 20 comma 3 close parentheses. This expression tells the video to move its position randomly 20 times per second, 3 pixels at a time. The result is an effect which mimics an old film projector which made the projected image wiggle. Now we're ready to export. Click File, Export, Add to Render Queue. Select the area you want to save your file. And click Render. And there you go. Your video is now an old 1920s silent film.